Hi, my name is Chris Holgraf. I'm the executive director of 2i2c for the International Interactive Computing Collaboration. And today I just want to talk briefly about a new flavor of Markdown that is open and extensible called Markedly Structured Text or MIST Markdown. So MIST Markdown builds on top of Common Mark Markdown. And Common Mark itself is the closest thing to a standard that exists in the Markdown ecosystem. Um, it's supported in almost every tool and service that we use that supports Markdown, and it defines the sort of basic elements that are present in uh, most Markdown documents that are out there. Um, but the problem is the Common Mark Markdown doesn't support a lot of the syntactic pieces that many of us need in the academic research and education communities. Now, there are a lot of other flavors of Markdown that extend Common Mark in new directions. But a lot of these flavors tend to be either tool specific or vendor specific or use case specific. And what we wanted in the Executable Books project was a flavor of Markdown that was community driven. Um, and it was also tool and use case agnostic and extensible. Um, so we looked around at the different flavors of markup languages that were out there and decided to draw inspiration from restructured text, which is a really popular markup language in the Python community. Um, and this led to markedly structured text or MIST Markdown. And I'll talk a little bit about it uh, next. So MIST Markdown begins with common mark markdown, as I mentioned before, and then it adds a few extra syntactic pieces that we've found to be particularly useful for scholarly communication and uh, academic research. So things like adding metadata to pages via YAML front matter, adding comments to pages, um, adding section labels so that you can cross-reference them across pages. These are just a few of the extra syntactic pieces that MIST Markdown adds on top of Common Mark. And one of the most interesting uh, parts of the MIST Markdown ecosystem is that it has two syntax pieces that are meant to be extended. And these are called directives for block level content and roles for inline content. Directives and roles kind of act like functions, but in the Markdown ecosystem. They have a name, they have arguments, they have keyword values, and they have content boxes. And these give you the basic building blocks that you would need to define a new directive or a new role that you can then extend into new kinds of directions. And this is one of the major innovations in the MIST Markdown ecosystem. So as an example of just a couple of things that you can do, here I'm showing you an admonition directive that can render itself as a nice little box here, or a figure directive that can attach a label to itself so that you can reference it later on. Um, these are two examples of roles, so inline content that you can then insert into your Markdown document and, in this case, reference another figure or reference a citation for a bibliography. So that's just a really short overview of MIST Markdown. Um, here are a few links if you want to learn a little bit more. Uh, MIST Markdown is largely driven by the Executable Books project and the Jupyter Book tool chain, but we hope to see it extended for many other use cases in the future. Um, so I'm happy to chat if anybody is interested, and thanks for your time.